Hello all. Welcome to our new session on Logarithm Architecture and its components. Logarithm has been designed with a highly flexible modular architecture. Each key logarithm function exists in a separate software program, or service. A multitude of devices are generating thousands of raw logs in your network at every moment. These devices can include servers, firewalls, routers, network services, applications, and email systems. Depending on the device, the logs are generated in a wide variety of formats and can include information related to system health, user interaction with an application, and so on. Logarithm Enterprise is a fully integrated security information and event management solution that processes the raw log data to make information available to you in a meaningful and uniform context. The following diagram shows the key logarithm components for collecting and processing logs. This includes agents, data processors, AI engine, and the platform manager. The individual services are installed on hosts to create the overall logarithm solution. All logarithm services can be installed on a single server providing all logarithm capabilities, or the services can be installed on separate servers in high performance and redundant configurations. A minimal deployment of logarithm consists of, one platform manager, one data processor, one data indexer, and one system monitor. The modular nature of logarithms components allows the platform manager, data processor, and data indexer to reside on the same server for low-volume deployments, or on dedicated servers for high-volume deployments. The platform manager and its associated database contain the record of events generated by logarithm as well as all the logarithm configuration data. It is important that the platform manager always be placed in a secure internal network. The platform manager is a Windows server running SQL Server 2016 standard SP1, or higher and should be deployed accordingly. The data processor forwards agent log data to the data indexer. It is the recommended practice to deploy data processors and data indexers in a secure internal network. However, in some scenarios, it may be advisable to place the data processor in a DMZ, when agents will be used to collect from remote sites. The data processor is a Windows server. The data indexer is a Windows or Linux server, and it should be protected with strict access controls placed on devices that can connect to the log repository if deployed in a DMZ or an untrusted environment. Communications to DMZ or remotely deployed data processors from platform managers and consoles can be encrypted to provide secure log delivery. The system monitor which collects log data and forwards it to a data processor, can be deployed on supported Windows, Linux, or Unix systems in an internal DMZ or on remote network hosts. Or can be encrypt collected log data before forwarding it across untrusted networks. Or, it can be read collected log data before forwarding it across untrusted networks. Or, it can be read local Windows event logs. Or, it can be read Windows event logs residing on remote systems. Or, or can have an integrated syslog server for collection of syslog data. Or, it can have an integrated NetFlow server, for collecting NetFlow or JFlow data from Cisco devices, or, it can have an integrated SFlow server for collecting flow data from network devices. Or, can have an integrated SNMP trap receiver. I hope the content was useful. Please subscribe to stay on top of all the upcoming videos. Thank you.